Hello guys, welcome back again to the channel. As you can see, iOS 18 is now available. So I've updated my device to iOS 18, all right? And I, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the most important features that you should know something about concerning iOS 18. Now, most of them that I'll cover in this video actually is about like the icons, the appearance and things like that, all right? So stay with me, all right? Okay, so the first one actually is with the control center. As you can see now, the control center is redesigned somehow, okay, with different, we can, we can say shapes of icons available here, and even different, we can say pages, right, that you can go right between them and then do whatever you want, okay? Now, the, the other thing is actually, now they have added the uh, power button here, all right, tap and hold, and then you will be able to, like, lock your device from here. If not, just cancel, right, and then, okay and then you will be able to use your device again okay now uh all right now the other thing is tap on this plus button here all right now the icons are customizable all right can be moved right to anywhere okay mm -hmm. and then of course we can say yeah okay reshape them right to different shapes available right now this is one this is second we could say two all right and third okay so as you can see different shapes are available you can change the i mean the we can say the icon to anything that you would like the other thing is you can add to a to the control center like a very very long list of available functions and apps available here as you can see this is huge this is actually one of the most important and amazing things concerning ios 18 that is now available right Okay, so let's go back, right, and then talk about something else, which is, right, the lock screen. Now, if I lock my screen, okay, and then tap and hold, and then customize, right? Yeah, choose that one. As you can see, guys, right now, we have, we have two options here. Maybe for most of you, right, you have the light option here, all right, and the camera one here, right? Now I'm gonna go with, okay, let's see, just choose the camera here, right? Yeah, now you're able to delete the one right that's already been set here all right and then change it to anything that you would like okay so i'm gonna go with the camera again okay just in case that you want to change all right guys you're able to change to anything all right available in that we can say list of different functions and apps available all right okay now uh, concerning the icons uh, we can say the icons now can be moved to anywhere on the screen that you would like okay now i've moved this one to here okay now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with this one okay and move it to here as you can see i have a space here and here as well so you can i mean change the position or the place of the icons to wherever that you would like the other thing is now go and tap on edit and then you can customize all right now these are like we could say uh yeah, maybe the most important things concerning the the, the appearance, right, uh, for uh, the icons, right? Now, the first thing is, now, you can go with the dark mode, right, and then the light one. Okay, as you can see, now, have a look at the background. As you can see, now, it's dark, right, back to light, right? And the size of the apps, have a look at it, right? If I change it right to large, as you can see, now, the size of the apps is, now, we can say, the apps is large but with no description no name of the we could say the apps now go back to the small one right and it's just like before right the other thing is actually one more thing is here, here is now you can change all right the we could say the mode or the picture of with not the picture actually yeah the mode of the apps available or the icons available here now we have the light all right which is the normal one we have the dark here as you can see right and then we have the automatic right and tinted now when we go to the tinted of course you have some more options available here all right you can have different tints available here right and then choose the one that you will like and that's it i mean this is cool actually isn't it okay now the other thing is now you can have like maybe most of the apps right tap and hold okay you will have like different sizes of that we could say with different sizes of widgets for that app, right? Now I'm gonna go with this one, as you can see. Now the widget for, the, for the, we can say the icon of uh, that app, which is App Store here, right, is different, right? And then even if I want to change to like a larger one, of course that one is available as well, right? 
and then I can go back to the normal one, all right? Yeah. Uh, the next thing, which is for me maybe the most important thing or the most important change concerning IS 18 is now tap and hold, all right, on any app, okay? But uh, actually two features are available here, but not for all the two features are available but maybe one is for most of them. Now, go to the second one, require face ID. Okay, and then it requires your face ID for two things, two important things here, right? The first one is, right, your face ID, okay, you will use it to lock your device, okay? So if I choose this one, require face ID, now the WhatsApp will be locked and then I cannot open it until I use my face ID. The other thing is, which is maybe the most um, uh, interesting one is, you can hide, all right? Okay, yeah, you can hide the app, all right? But the question here is, where does that app go, all right, when I hide it? No worries, okay, just go back, all right, to the app library, sc scroll down, and you have this folder available here for the hidden apps, okay? You cannot see anything here until you use your face ID. And that's it, all right? If you want to unhide it, okay, just tap and hold, and then don't require face ID, and then your app is back, but not in the home screen, or we say on the home screen. Now you have to, okay, go and search for it, tap, right, and then add to home screen, all right, and then take it back, all right. Okay, no, wait. Okay, take it back to the place that you would like, all right? Okay, the other thing was actually, all right, let's try that one as well, okay? So, okay, not for this one, for the App Store, okay? Yeah, let's go with require face ID, okay? And require face ID available here, right? If I choose that one, okay? So next time now, the, the App Store is locked, right? So next time when I want to reach it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use like my face ID until I have access to, we can say, or open, that app. Now let's talk about the settings here and what is like um, we can say was being changed here, right? Now if we, if we go to the settings, okay, we can say it is somehow reorganized, okay, and the most important, we can say the most important change available here. Now all the apps, all right, in the bottom are ready. We can say re, we can say sorted alphabetically, all right, in a different page, as you can see. Now you can choose, all right, or we can say search for the one that you would like, just like that, okay? So in this video, I covered the most important, we can, we can say changes uh, concerning iOS 18. I hope you guys uh, like, like them, okay? Subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to talk about the other available features, okay, in a, we can say near future. See you next time.